Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show how to do masking in Keynote and also in Procreate for use in GoodNotes. So this is a blank presentation in Keynote and you are going to need two things. You're going to need uh, some sort of background image. So I'm just going to pick one here for my camera roll and just size it up so it's a little easier to manage. And you're also going to need a shape. So I'm going to click the Add button, make sure you're in shapes, and just, just pick a random shape. Okay, so you're going to want to lay one on top of the other. Select both the background and the shape. Um, you can just put one finger on each and mask with shape this way, or you can long press on the, just click anywhere on the, on the canvas here and hit select all. And then, same thing, mask with shape, click done, and you have now masked that little square to have the background color. So, there's another way to do this though, so let me delete that. We're gonna pick a shape again. We're gonna click the paintbrush, fill, and instead of picking a color, we're gonna select image at the top there and change image. And you can just find a photo from here, and we're going to do the same thing. So there's just, I'm just trying to illustrate that there's multiple ways to do this. Okay, there you go, and if you make it bigger, you get more of those colors from your, your original image. Okay, so there's that way of doing things. Now, if we go into Procreate, Here's a blank canvas in Procreate. We're going to do, um, make sure you're on a new layer all by itself. And I'm going to just pick a brush, a writing brush. That's a good one to use. And I'm just going to write out my name. Make it as big or as small as you want. Okay. I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to pick up that same image from my camera roll. Okay. Now the trick here is it needs to be bigger than the image you're trying to cover. So now I'm going to, on my text layer, I'm going to click and select and then on my color layer, I'm going to click and mask. And that is all it takes to mask in Procreate. On your word layer, you click select. And on the color layer, you click mask. And you end up with this layer right here. Now from here, you can just deselect the background and save that. Wrench, share. PNG and I have I have one of these that I can use. Let's find the blank page, long press image photos. And look at that. That is pretty snazzy. Alright, now let me go back to Procreate. I want to show something else. Turn that background back on. I'm gonna delete this. Delete this. Um, I'm adding a new layer because I want to show you something. Now that layer that we're going to draw on needs to be below your picture. So I'm going to turn this off for a moment. In this layer, I'm going to put, use some stamp brushes. So Jenny has a, a sticker pack, a brush pack called um, Planner Labels. And the thing with this is you can do multiple I'm selecting the size of my shape here and you just tap on the screen and that is all it takes to use a stamp a stamp brush. You just click and click on the page and boom, you've just created a stamp. I'm going to double tap to erase some of those. I don't want all of those. Um, and I'm just going to make some shapes here because I want to illustrate that you can in Procreate do 
several of these at the same time. Okay, actually I want to make this one a little bit bigger. We're still in the same layer here. But this is all just to illustrate. Now this layer is the stamp brushes. This layer is the pretty picture. On the stamp brushes, I'm going to, they're both turned on, I'm going to click and select. Then on the color layer, I'm going to click and mask. And lo and behold, I have a matching set. All in one shot, all done together. Now I'm going to deselect that background layer, wrench tool, share, PNG, save the image, and now when I go into Good Notes, let's find a weekly. <clears throat> Actually, let's go into my sticker book. Pick a new sheet here. I'm going to long press image, pick up that last image I just saved, and I'm going to first copy so that I don't have to import this photo over and over and over again. Now that I have it copied, I'm going to long press edit, tap crop, and crop out individual stickers. There's one. Now I'm going to long press and paste, since I copied it to begin with. Long press, edit, tap, and crop. And it just makes my life easier. I don't have to import that photo over and over again. Long press paste, click off, long press edit, tap, crop. I'm just cropping individual images here. Paste, click off, long press edit, tap, crop. Done. Now I have individual crop pictures. I'm going to go back to my journal and see what do I want to add here. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.